going to write the equation of the circle in standard form and then give the center and radius of the circle. We're given the general form of a circle, which we should recognize because the coefficient of the x squared term and the coefficient of the y squared term are equal. Our goal is to write this equation in standard form, which is given here below. Once we have the equation in standard form, the center will have coordinates h, k, and the radius will be equal to r. So looking at the standard form of the circle, notice how we have the quantity x minus h squared and the quantity y minus k squared, which means we want both the x part and the y part of this equation to be perfect squared trinomials. So we'll have to complete the square on both the x part and y part of this equation. But to do this, we want the coefficient of x squared and y squared to be one, so our first step here is going to be to divide both sides of the equation by positive two. Now we'll simplify this and set it up to complete the square. So this first term would be x squared, and then minus four x, and then we're going to add a special constant here to make this a perfect square trinomial, which we'll do in the next step. And then we'll have plus y squared, plus six y, and then the same thing for the y part. We're going to add a special constant here to make this a perfect square trinomial, and then eight divided by two is equal to four, so we have plus four, but let's go ahead and subtract four on both sides to move the constant to the right. So we'll have equals negative four. Then because we're going to add two constants on the left side of the equation, we need to add the same two constants on the right to maintain the equality. So let's go ahead and leave room for those as well. And now we'll complete the square on x squared minus four x. To do this, we'll take half of the coefficient of x and square it. So negative four divided by two, that's half squared would be negative two squared, which is equal to positive four. So we'll add four here and add four to the right as well. And then for the y part, we'll take half of the coefficient of y and square it. So six divided by two squared. Six divided by two is equal to three, so we have three squared, which is equal to nine. So now we'll add nine to both sides of the equation. Now we'll factor x squared minus four x plus four and y squared plus six y plus nine. These will both factor into two binomial factors and they should be perfect square trinomials, so the two factors should be the same. So for x squared minus four x plus four, we have x and x. We want the factors of positive four that add the negative four, that would be negative two and negative two. So we have minus two and minus two. Notice that negative two was the value we squared to obtain the constant of four. In the next step, we'll write this as the quantity x minus two squared. Then for y squared plus six y plus nine, we want the factors of positive nine that add to positive six, which would be positive three and positive three. So we have y plus three and y plus three. Again, notice how the constant three was the value we squared to get the nine. Notice we do have a perfect square trinomial. On the right side, we have negative four plus four, that's zero plus nine, this should be equal to nine. But for the standard form of our circle, we have the quantity x minus two squared plus the quantity y plus three squared equals positive nine. Now we can find the center and the radius. Since we have the quantity x minus two squared, the x coordinate is positive two. And since we have the quantity y plus three squared, the y coordinate is negative three. Notice the signs of our coordinates are the opposite of what we see inside the parentheses. We have x minus two, so the x coordinate is positive two. We have y plus three, so the y coordinate is negative three. And for the radius, r squared is equal to nine. And this is a length, so we're only concerned about the positive value of r. So if we take the square root of both sides of the equation, or the principal square root, we can see r, the radius, is equal to three units. Now we have all the information the question asked for, but let's go ahead and graph this on the coordinate plane. Notice the center of the circle has coordinates two, negative three. 
And then for the radius, if we sketch a segment from the center to any point on the circle, let's say this segment here, we can see the radius is three units. Okay, hope you found this explanation helpful.